It's it's such a it's life altering. It does literally change. It doesn't just change the money aspect of your life. It changes, you know, relationships. Um, for me, it screwed up a, a long term relationship. I can no longer see a certain child who was to do with the the lady's child who's to do with the relationship. I can no longer speak to him because she thinks I'm, not so much now, but thought I was incapable of taking him out and being responsible enough. What are the, some of the main difficulties that you faced because of your heroin use? And many um, places to stay, losing my family and all, and my kids. That kind of thing really, really. And what impact did that have on you? Well, a big impact, because my kids, my kids were everything to me. And at first I didn't even know I was taking the drug because uh, my missus was putting in spliffs. Like, only putting a little bit, but I didn't know at first. So when I found out, I just started taking it anyway. But I gave my kids to my mother then. And she stopped me from seeing them where I was on the drugs. So. Drugs, uh, heroin especially, you know, in my experience, it's just evil. You lose everything. Um, you know, I was, I was married before children. Now I'm in the middle of a divorce. I haven't seen my children for a long time. And in the eyes of authorities, that's uh, a just punishment for my drug use, is being torn apart from everything that meant anything to me, um, you know. A lot of the difficulties that I faced was um, I lost my fa lost contact with my family. My family disowned me. Um, I became homeless. Um, I was in a relationship for ten years. Um, um, that ended because of my drug use. Um, I was in and out of jail due to the drug use, and basically I lost all. Um, or everything to do with life, like, you know, I've lost interest in everything to do with my life, like, you know, due down to keeping myself clean, my appearance, you know, I had just lost everything. At first, when I was on it, I did have my kids, but um, I didn't think it was fair on them. They never seen me at all. Because I wouldn't have that, but then I was putting them in their rooms and all that when I was taking them. I didn't think that was right. So, um, yeah, it was hard because in the end I wasn't even buying food. So that's why I thought I got, I got, I got to give them to my mother. Okay, like, you know I mean, and I asked my mother to have him. I said, yeah, so I'll give you two months to sort yourself out. But it was hard with the kids, definitely, because before every penny used to go on in. And then when I was on that, every penny go on the drugs, and it was hard, like, because how oh, 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 you change so quick, like, I mean, when my oldest boy was top in his class for reading and everything. That's so, what I mean, I was a brilliant mother, I used to do everything with him, but as soon as I got on the drugs, that, that all changed, and I knew that wasn't right, so that's why I had to ask my mother to have him, because there was no worth bringing with the drugs, I wasn't fair on him. So, it was the hardest thing I'd done, but it was the best thing for him, I had to think what was best for them, I mean, not think of me all the time. Because that's what you do at the end when you're on drugs, you just think of yourself, you don't think of anybody else. So, I couldn't be selfish in that way, I had to think of them. Difficulties, everything involved with heroin basically. Um, my health, the fact that I'm down in Cardiff and I'm from my stake, do you know what I mean? The fact that I used to work and Everything's just gone. My whole life has gone because of heroin. Everything. My family won't talk to me. My old friends won't be seen with me because I was using heroin. I got two kids, you know what I mean? One of them's 13 and he's starting to hear things in school now and getting embarrassed about the uh, name calling, about his dad being a smart guy, don't know. It's no fun at all, like. Well, I, th I, th I think it's a um, kind of misconception that uh, like all drug users, uh, maybe hippies who live on the street or 
uh, 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 criminals or, or just people, undesirable people, but there is a lot of profession, professional classes, professional people using drugs, like social workers, um, police and doctors. And I was one of the, I was one of those people who managed to um, control my drug use and keep a professional job down. So that's. Uh, How did you lose control of your drug usage? Well, eventually, uh, eventually, um, um, circumstances within uh, my kind of personal life and everything um, fell apart. You know, I marriages and uh, death of my parents, and um, the. Uh, Basically, um, because of, because of my mental deterioration and health, they um, kind of paid me off from work, and uh, so they, they they give me a lump sum of money, and and you know end of social work as a job like, and that's when um, I use that money to go on a very long, long lost weekend. My, that's when my drug use got out of really out of control, and I couldn't control it anymore. And I got to the stage where I realised I couldn't control it anymore after spending all the money and finding that uh, life was I couldn't cope. I had a breakdown, and I approached social services and asked to go into rehab. The um, the drugs. Did get the better of me. I've uh, lost um, two marriages through them, a lot of financial loss, uh, employment due to them. Like, um, you face all sorts of, of relationship problems, problems with your family, uh, the wider community, um, obviously the police. Um. It does have a massive effect on your life. I mean, my mother, for example, has put a lot of stress on her. She goes to Families Anonymous. I mean, she's a lovely, lovely woman. She's very intelligent. She's educated herself about drugs. She's tried to help me. She would never give me money, but she always give me a meal, you know, she'd make sure I was all right. Um, so. I, I feel I've hurt her a lot, and my sister, my father, before he died. I lost um, contact with my family. My mum was really devastated, because I'm the youngest of the family, and my mum was really devastated that um, her youngest son was a heroin user. Um, my friends that I grew up with and went to school, were totally like you know devastated they tried to help me and I just didn't want to take advice off anybody. You just don't seem to care because you get you, your emotions and I think just don't seem to bother you anymore and I didn't even think of my kids when I was that bad and I when like when I come on this I realized what it done to me and not for me to not think of my kids I must have been pretty messed up basically so um, crime, like, you know, I never done crime before, but then I started to steal, you know, lie, um, and just me, Crystal Hobbs, in general, changed, like, you know, I be from a nice person, I become a very vindictive, lying person, like, you know, that no one, I couldn't even trust myself sometimes, you know.